and we yield the platform to you. Go as the Spirit of God leads you. Over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your life, child, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I Thank see you. black and white. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can move. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can move. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your head yeah. can turn. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your legs yeah. can move. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are not in the much word, shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Uh, shall I say good morning, this pink church? Uh, we are honored. It's a great pleasure to be with you this morning, uh, Pastor Obed. Uh, we say thank you for this opportunity. We are grateful. We're not taking it lightly. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We pray that Almighty God will bless this spring church. Amen. Mostly, in a way that you don't even expect. Amen. From nowhere, things begin to change and turn around. For this big church in the name of Jesus Christ. Not just the church, but also the people. There shall be great increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Increase from all sides, all sides, all sides, all sides in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Pastor Robert. We are grateful. My wife, your sister, greets you. Your, 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 your nieces, they, they all greet you. <laughs> uh, and, and indeed, the entire church, we say God bless you, and God bless this big church in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Let's go. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted. Exalted, exalted, Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel, the word of God. The Son of God, the Lamb of God, Emmanuel, the Word of God, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel, be thou exalted. Exalted, exalted, Emmanuel, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the I am that I am, Emmanuel, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the I am that I am, Emmanuel, eh, be thou exalted, exalted. Exalted, Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Mighty Counselor, Great Redeemer, Mighty Mediator, Emmanuel, Mighty Counselor, Great Redeemer, Mighty Mediator, Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel, 
Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Ancient of this, the I am that I am, the King eternal, the Lord eternal. Ancient of this, we say there is none like you. That they will say, be thou exalted. We say, be thou magnified. Father, let them be exalted. Let them be magnified. This one, the Father, from this big church in the name of Jesus Christ. Our King and our God in heaven, we say thank you. Father, we yield this service into your hand. We yield all, Father, into your hand. That you come and take charge, come and take preeminence in that name of Jesus Christ. Father, I have no, Father, Father, I have no words of my own to speak. Father, but your word. Put your word in my mouth. Put your word in my mouth this morning and let me speak your word unto the people in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let us speak through me. Father, don't tell your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our King. Thank you, our Father. Daddy, we just want to say thank you for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, let's prayerfully sing this song, all of us. Let's prayerfully sing this song. Oh, it's titled. Uh, Holy words, holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. Very sound with calls on heart, oh, let thy sweet words be heart. Words of life, words of hope, give us strength, help us cope. In this world, wherever we roam, ancient world will guide us home. Ancient words, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, for oh, let the ancient words impart. Holy words of our faith handed down to this age come to us through sacrifice oh hear the faithful words of christ ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come uh, with open hearts for oh, let uh, the uh, words uh, impart Father, this morning, let your word impact on our lives. Let your word impact, Father, on our ministry. Let your word impact, Father, in our lives, wherever we do, wherever we go. Father, let your word impact. Let your word lead us. Let your word guide us. Let your word preserve us. Let your word lift us, Father. Let your word, your word, your word. Don't let us ignore your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word guide. Let your word lead in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our God. Thank you, our Father. But we know that reality of we know that we should experience the reality of your word in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, ancient of days, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we want to um, take a look at uh, why at times uh, God refuses or rejects our thanksgiving. Why does God reject our thanksgiving, even our prayers, supplications? At times, God refuses, God rejects it, doesn't accept it. Uh, you, you may bring in all the offerings on earth, all the euros, all, all, all the pounds telling, all, all the millions. Of course, the pastor will use it properly, righteously, but God, may not accept that offering. Why? Now, it bothers on understanding. And also understanding the principles and dynamics of prayer and thanksgiving. There are some people, if they pray a hundred times, God may answer just one of the hundred prayers. And there are some people, all their prayers, God answers. And that is because 
these people understand the dynamics and the dynamics and principles of prayer. And so when they pray and there's answer, people flock to them. People from everywhere run to them. There are also some other persons that God doesn't even want them to pray first. But once things cross their hearts, their minds, God sees, God sees, and God answers immediately, even without them praying. Why? Because they have what's called understanding. Understanding of the word of God. They understand what God is saying per season. They understand what they, they understand what they ought to do per season. They have a great understanding. And so the first of all, the, 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 the first thing for us is understanding. Brethren, there are many things we do for God in service, but will not be recognized or rewarded by God. This is primarily because we don't have understanding. Understanding spiritual things is not in man's jurisdiction, but hearing is in man's jurisdiction. Understanding the things of the spirit, they are not in man's jurisdiction, but hearing is in man's jurisdiction. Meaning that you may hear, but don't understand. Because it is not in man's jurisdiction to understand the things of the spirit. Until you ask God, that is when understanding begins to filter in. This is, this is why some people, when, when they read the Bible, it's like they're reading things from apart, or they're reading a newspaper or a magazine. They don't have understanding. John 5.20, First John, sorry, First John 5.20. It says, we know that the son of God is come and had given us understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that that is true, even in his son, Jesus Christ. Understanding comes from where? Understanding comes from the almighty father. Let's also look at uh, Matthew 15. Matthew 15. Matthew 15 from uh, 16 to 20. Let's first of all look at uh, Matthew 15, 10. Matthew 15, 10 first. And he called. And he called the multitude and said unto them, hear and understand. The Bible says that he called the multitude and said unto them, hear and understand. Meaning that you can hear and may not understand. He called them to hear and understand. Let's also look at uh, 16 to 20. And Jesus said, are you also yet without understanding? This time he was speaking to his people. He said, are you, are you also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whosoever, that whatsoever entereth at the mouth goes into the belly and it casts out through the drought. But those things which proceeded out of the mouth come from the heart and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts, murders, adulterers, fornication, thefts, false uh, witnesses, uh, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defile not a man. Here we're also seeing that. Understanding, understanding comes from where? Understanding comes from God. Christ called the multitude and, 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 and he told them to hear and understand. 15, Christ answered Peter and said, Peter, even you too, you don't have understanding. Peter was supposed to be the man to took over from Jesus Christ at the end of his ministry on earth. Peter was supposed to be the general overseer of the church of Christ. But and that even at that point, Peter still too do not have understanding. Understanding spiritual things is not 
in man's jurisdiction. But hearing it is in man's jurisdiction. Peter, you too. Luke 18, 31 to 34. <clears throat> Luke 18, 31 to 34. Luke 18, 31 to 34. Luke 18, 31, 34. Then he took unto them the twelve and said unto them, Behold, we go up unto Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and spitefully entreated, and spited upon. And they shall scourge him, and put him to death, and the third day he shall rise again. 34, and they understood none of the things, and they understood none of the things, and a saying was hid from them, neither knew they the things which are spoken. They, can, they cannot be understanding until the Almighty God opens your understanding. Luke 24, 45, Luke 24, 45, then he opened their understanding that they may understand the scriptures. Then he opened. Now until Christ opens your understanding, until the Holy Spirit opens your understanding, you, you may read, 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 and it's like you're reading a novel. Nothing happening, nothing, 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 until you go to God for him to open your understanding. Father, I pray this morning, open our minds, open our, that, that we understand you, our Father. Open our minds to understand the deep things of the Spirit that you open us. Lord, open our minds, open our minds, open our minds, Father, to understand in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Brethren, knowledge, knowledge, growth, and experience begins at the point of understanding. I take that again. Knowledge, growth, and experience begins at the point of understanding. Meaning that if there's no understanding, there will be no knowledge, there will be no growth, there will be no understanding. No, sorry, there will be no experience. So understanding is key. You need, you, you, you need to access the deep things of the spirit by means of what? Understanding. Father, Help us, help us understand your counsel. Help us understand your counsel. Father, help us understand your counsel and give us wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, anoint our heart, our eyes, and our ears, O Lord, to hear you, our God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Job 12, Job 12, 13, 12 to 13. Job 12. 12 to 13, also talk about wisdom and understanding. Psalm 47, 7. Psalm 47, 7 also talks about understanding. Ephesians 1, 18. Ephesians 1, 18 also talks of what? Understanding. This time, the eyes of understanding. Colossians 1, 9 to 10. Colossians 1 and 10 also talks about understanding. 2 Timothy 2 7 also talks of what? Understanding. So understanding is key. Now, for every human being, for every person, there are two points of control. There are two points of control. You are either being controlled by God or you are being controlled by Satan. The things you do, the things you speak, your actions and inactions are controlled either by God or by Satan. First Chronicles 21.1 1 is my witness. First Chronicles 21.1. 1. You say, and Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Satan had access to David's mind. Like, second, like, like Satan has access to our minds. It says what? And Satan stood up against Israel 
and provoked David to number Israel. Of course, you and me today will say, what is wrong with census? What is wrong with census? But if you have understanding and look properly, you will know why God was not happy with David for numbering Israel. And that's because, for example, Israel and another country, maybe the Philistines, they want to go into war. First thing the king may do is to count his soldiers. Then he say, for example, that he has 100,000 soldiers and the Philistines have got uh, say 500,000 soldiers. Of course, King will say, say at least my, my 10,000 can easily defeat the 5,000. But at that point, you are putting God aside. You are, putting the, you, you, you are putting the role of God aside. Now, working on your human understanding and human memories, your human abilities, instead of depending on God. Praise the Lord. So also, Psalm 37, 23, you see, the steps of a man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Our thoughts, God has access to our thoughts. And brethren, our hearts, our hearts is a battleground. Our hearts is a battleground for God, good thoughts, and bad thoughts. The battle is there. Like I said before, that there are many things we do for God in service, but will not be recognized or accepted or rewarded by God. The heart determines, the heart determines many things in our life. What goes on determines the activities or the service to be acceptable to God. What's happening in our hearts, what is going on in our hearts will determine whether God will accept our service or not, whether he'll accept our prayers or not, whether he'll accept our worship or not, whether he'll accept our thanksgiving or not. For example, Matthew 6, 1 to 2. Matthew 6, 1 to 2. Giving of arms is good, but what God looks at in your giving arms is the motive behind giving the arms. Are you giving it, are you giving it out of pride or out of love of God? Those are the things that will determine whether God will accept or the, the answer you are given or not. Do not do righteous things in the public because it amounts to a, a wrong motive and therefore what? No reward. Therefore, pay attention to the quality of your heart. Therefore, pay good attention, a strong attention to the quality of your heart. It determines how much fruit the word of God will bear in your life. No wonder David said in Psalm 26, 1 to 2, he said, Lord, examine me, O Lord. Psalm 139, 23, he said, David asked God to look deeply into him. No wonder when you read the Bible, there's no understanding because of the condition of the heart. Anything you do for God, the heart is the foundation. If the foundation is weak, that thing cannot strong. Uh, that thing cannot stand. Being a child of God has to do with the condition of your heart. Being a child of God has to do with what? With the condition of your heart. How healthy is the heart? How healthy is the heart? I don't mean the medical um, um, uh, health, not, not the physical health. Spiritually, how healthy is your heart? Because if the heart is sick, God has nothing to do with his sick heart. Unless your heart is, unless the heart is what is healthy. Now, if the heart is not healthy, it means the heart is diseased. The heart is sick. And some of the sicknesses of, of the heart are one, hatred. First John 2, 9 to 11. 
hatred. Hatred is a bad disease of the heart. Second, another one again is pride. Pride is a very deadly disease, a bad one. Pride even turned angels of light into angels of darkness. Pride, that's how bad it is. To turn angels, angels of light into angels of darkness. Pride. Proverbs 16.5. Proverbs 16, 5, that proud is an abomination to God and must be punished. It is self-worship. Pride is what is self-worship. Pride is like carbon monoxide. It comes quietly and kills quietly. You will not see it, you will not hear it. Pride is a sin of the heart. Where there's pride, God is not there. The word of God says that God, God will distance himself from a proud person. Pride, it kills. Another disease is what bitterness. Hebrew 12, 15, bitterness. There's bitterness in the heart. That heart is a sick heart. That heart cannot communicate with God. It's a sick heart. Bitterness is like a spiritual cancer. Bitterness is like a spiritual cancer. It goes in there quietly and you will not know what it is there. Offense, unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, anger, and deceit, all of these are sicknesses of the heart that cannot relate with God. Matthew 15, or 15 to 19 talks about uh, evil thoughts, murder, adultery, fornication, thefts, deceits, etc., etc. The heart. Have we also? I um, uh, wondered why, for example, God um, um, uh, rejected uh, uh, Cain's offering and accepted Abel's offering. Let's look at it. Genesis 4, 3 to 9. Genesis 4, 3 to 9. Or rather, let's take it from 5. Let's take it from five. You say, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not accepted. And Cain was brought and his countenance fell. He said, but unto Cain, but unto Cain and his offering, he had no respect. God had no respect for Cain. First of all, he did what? First of all, he had no respect for Cain. And the next, his offering. Uh, sorry, uh, well, let's, uh, well, let, let, let's, 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 let's take it from three. Let, let, let's take it from three uh, so that it becomes clearer. Three, and in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought, that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offered unto the Lord. And Abel also brought of the firstlings of his flock on the fat thereof. And the Lord had a respect unto Abel and his offering. What did God do for us? God, first of all, had a respect for Abel. God had respect for Abel before he had respect for his offering. And so if God has no respect for you because of the condition of your heart, the offering you are given will not go anywhere. But unto uh, uh, Cain, the Lord also said, uh, he, said he, he, he said, but God, God had no respect for Cain and therefore refused and rejected his offering. So if God had respect for you, if your heart is healthy spiritually, fine. 
that will be placed. But if they have to seek spiritually, with all of this that we mentioned, bitterness, malice, um, uh, offense, pride, jealousy, all of that, no, God would not have respect to that person that not talk of the offering. Now, seven, he said, um, seven, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? It means that Cain did not do well. Cain had a sick heart. Cain had a sick heart. Now, the story continues that there was a day Cain and Abel were in the farm and Cain thought in his mind and murdered Abel. And God called him, Cain, where are your brother? Am I my brother's keeper? I don't know. A rude person. Cain was a rude, rude person. No respect, even for the Almighty God. So he, said, he, said, he answered back, am I my brother's keeper? I don't know. He had lied and no respect for God. God has seen this in his heart. These are the reasons why God refused his offering. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Next again, the seven churches in Asia that Christ, that Christ wrote later to. Uh, first of all, to the, um, uh, first of all, to the um, uh, 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 efficient church. He praised them, he praised them, praised them, praised them, praised them, praised them, praised them, and then said, but I have something against you. He said, you have left your first love, meaning that all the church they are doing, all the programs, everything they were doing, 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 was not acceptable to God because they were serving themselves and not serving God. They were thinking of themselves and not thinking of God. God said that they have left him. They are not working for him. They are going to church, doing, doing all the program, doing everything, everything they were doing there, they were doing, but God said no. But God said no, you have left your first love. You are not working for me. You are working for yourself. Their minds were sick spiritually. Then for the church in Laodicea, they think that they are strong, they are rich. He told them, no. He said, you are richard. First of all, first of all, he said, you are not rich. He said, you are richard. You are miserable. You are poor. You are blind. And you are naked. Then to the church in the, uh, uh, Samania, he said, he said, I can see all you suffer for me. I can see all that you're doing for me. But you say you are poor. You are not poor, but you are rich. Difference between these three churches, for example, is the condition of the heart. And so, brethren, we must give a lot of attention to the condition of our heart. Also, let, let's also look at uh, the case of uh, uh, Haggai and Ishmael. In, um, um, uh, uh, in Genesis 21, 16, 17. Genesis 21, 16, 17. Hagar was uh, Sarah's uh, housemate and, and Sarah persuaded uh, uh, Abraham to sleep with her. Then, uh, and, and then she took in, and as soon as she took in, from that humble, a maid, she became the Lord, that she was going to be the one to give back to the heir of, uh, of Abraham. Pride came in, arrogance came in. She immediately started loading it on, uh, on Sarah, and Sarah saw it, and God also saw it, and, and eventually, Sarah also took him and had, a, 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 and had Isaac. But Sarah persuaded Abraham to let Hagar to go and Hagar uh, and her son left. In no distance, the water and the food finished. 
death came and the boy was about to die. And she put him at a sling distance and she started crying unto God. But the Bible says that God did not hear her, brother, but God heard the cry of the child. God didn't hear her, but God heard the cry of the child. The Bible didn't say that the, the, Bible didn't say that the, the, the child was crying. But they say, but God heard the, child, the, the child's cry. Why? Because her guy's heart was sick. Her heart was diseased, cannot connect to God. Her heart was sick. Absolutely cannot connect with God. In all of this, Mark 12, 30, 31, Mark 12, 30, 31, it says, love the Lord God Almighty with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind, and with all your strength, and also love thy neighbor. Now, where there's love, where you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mouth, with all your strength, you find yourself standing above pride, bitterness, offense, unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, anger, deceit. When you love God, of course, certainly you're also going to love your neighbor. And so you'll be standing far above, you'll be standing far above all, all of these sicknesses of the heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brethren, this morning, what are we saying? Although there are still many, many, many other, uh, other reasons why, God's, um, uh, why God will not accept uh, uh, our offerings, our prayers, et cetera, et cetera. But we must take step, we must be very, very conscious of the condition of our heart, because that is where the battle rages. And of course, we cannot ignore um, uh, the, the, the element of uh, obedience, obedience to the word of God, not selective obedience, not, not, not obeying when it is convenient. Obedience, 100%, 100% obedience. And of course, um, um, God told uh, Joshua, uh, Joshua 1, God told uh, uh, Joshua 1, he says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that's written therein. For then thou shalt make uh, thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Brethren, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot overcome, you cannot overcome these weapons of the enemy outside 100% obedience of the word of God. Selective obedience, convenience obedience. No, must obey all the works, everything, everything. In fact, um, uh, James 2.10, just so that if you are guilty in one, you are guilty in all. Meaning that like if oil rub one finger, where, where is the oil? It's in the hand. Who is the hand? It's the body. So it also touched all, all the fingers. No selective obedience. Obey all, all, all. Oh, oh. And as you do that, God in his mercy, God in his compassion, will grant you grace and strength uh, to overcome every weapon, every weapon, every weapon of the enemy. And of course, like God has access to our mind, Satan also has access to our mind. And what does it do? 
he put this bitterness and all of these uh, envies and all these jealousies into our minds to do what? To separate us from God. But that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, let's pray. Let's, pray, let's pray, even as we round up. You know yourself. You know your heart. Where you don't even know, ask God to reveal you to yourself. Ask God to show you your areas of weakness. Let him help you. Let him help you. Open your mouth and begin to pray unto God now. Begin to pray. Uh, begin to pray. So that you will not fall into this uh, deceit. The deceit of pride. The deceit of bitterness. Of offense. Unforgiveness. Jealousy. Envy. Anger. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Libra casa katapo pienda yaba kuya bosiko. Kere basin talibro baba si kata yaba si kete kabo ti baba kaya boko soto lo. San katapo prada balibro baba si kete kibo mbo bosi kaya taya ba. Anka nuko polibo pata libro baba si kete eshe kete po ki baba kasa talba. Baba si koto libro mbo bosi kete yibo kaya basi kata laba katapo soto po bosi kaya yibo. Ozi anda ba kanta se kata la ba baba si kete po koi baba anka yibo koi bo si kete lebo aska po po prada ba le ba si kata la ba kana ma kanta yibo unko yibo unko yibo unko yibo unko yibo unko yibo unko yibo zembo pa ya ba si kete lebo baba si kaya la ba in the name of Jesus Christ thank you our God thank you our Father for in Jesus name we are prayed Amen before we Finally, I'm um, uh, leave. Uh, is anybody uh, from any part of the world who is part of this program this morning? And before now, I'm not giving this a lot to Jesus Christ. This is a good opportunity for you. This is a good opportunity for you to give your life to God, that he may lead you, that he may guide you. That he may also become a child of God. Otherwise, these things, this bitterness and all, all this unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, anger, you cannot handle them on your own. You can't fight them. You can't push them away. You can't wish them away. Satan will always push them to you. And so, if you're part of the program this morning, I want to give a life to Jesus Christ. I ask you to please put your right hand on your chest, then bow your head down wherever you are, and say, oh Lord, my God, this morning, have mercy upon me. Have mercy, upon, have mercy upon me. Be merciful unto me. Forgive me, all my, forgive me all my sins and all my transgressions. I want to be with you. I want to know you. Accept me. Accept me as a child. I want you to be my father and my Lord. Father, please accept me from this day. I promise I'll walk with you. I'll walk for you. I'll be with you. I'll be your child. You'll be my father in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, if you have made that prayer, uh, if, you are, if you are anywhere around, the, around New York, um, search for this Spring Church. If you are outside New York, any other, any other place, look for any other Bible-believing church and go in there, meet the pastor, and tell him you want to walk for Christ, and he will tell you what to do. Praise the Lord. And so our God and, and, so our, God and our King, we thank you this morning. We adore you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, before we leave, let's pray one prayer. Let's pray one prayer. Let's pray one prayer. Uh, because um, more often than not, uh, we Christian, uh, we pray and, and then we say um, the sins of our forefathers, the sins of our forebearers uh, is standing against us, uh, is working against us. The things they did is standing and working against us. 
and then we we'll begin to pray, uh, begin to pray, and, and then begin to bind, and then begin to do all sorts of all, all, all sorts of all, 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 all sorts of uh, prayers. But this morning, I pray that God will open understanding so that you understand uh, how to handle such matters, how to pray over such matters. Praise the Lord. Let's start from um, uh, Lamentations, uh, Lamentations 5. Lamentations 5, 7 to 9. Lamentations 5, 7 to 9. Uh, briefly, uh, it talks about that our fathers have sinned and, and are no more. And we are bound. Uh, and we, uh, we abhorred their iniquities. Meaning that the fathers have seen and they are no more. And the fathers' iniquities are upon them. But if you look at uh, Jeremiah 31, 29 to 30, Jeremiah 31, 29 to 30, it said, it shall be said no more. Are you hearing me? He said, it shall be said no more that the fathers have eaten store grapes and the children's teeth are on edge. He said, it shall be said no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more that the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. No. Thirty talks that every man that sin shall die shall die of his sin, and that the sin will not be given to another person. Ezekiel 18, Ezekiel 18, two to four. Ezekiel 18, two to four. It says, what do you mean by using this proverb concerning the land of Israel that the fathers have seen and the children's teeth are set on edge? It says, as I live, verse three, as I live, said the Lord God, you shall have no occasion, no occasion to use this proverb. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Meaning that the fathers have seen, their sins are with them and not with you and are, are not with you. So I'm sure that this will now guide you to know how to pray this prayer. The Bible says, the Bible says that the father has seen, their sin is upon them. That this proverb should no longer be used in Israel. You and I should no longer say that our fathers are eating so our grape and our teeth are set on edge. Their sin is their sin is their sin. Meaning that you cannot pay for what you did not buy. You cannot pay for what you did not buy. Anymore, anymore, anymore. You cannot pay for it, you know, by anymore. Meaning that the load that is not supposed to be your load, you're not supposed to carry it. I'm sure this will guide you on how to pray these prayers because it is not your portion to carry the sins of your forebearers. God said it's not for you to carry. And so even when you perceive, you perceive such thing, you, you, you use the word of God, it is written, it, it, it is written. It is, it is what it is written. I cannot carry the sins of my forebearers. No, I reject it, I refuse it. Brethren, as we are led within the few minutes that are left, pray, 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 pray that no power no power, no power lays upon you the sins of your bearers in the name of Jesus Christ. Now pray that prayer that no power, no force anywhere, no power, no force anywhere puts upon you the sins of, of uh, the, the sins of, uh, of your forebearers in the name of Jesus. And that you reject them, you refuse them. God, because what of God says to Tikaya Bakasha Tankaya Bukosho to Mpopo Yabakata Lababa. 
kerebo swata la ba koshi nke yebo kosho to le bo 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 koso to le bo kerebo si ya pa ya banka ya ba ba kaya pata ka che kete le bo ko ye ba si kete le bo pranda ba le bro ba ba si kata ya bo ko ye bo un kompo to un po koso to le bo ye ba kasa ta la ba prata la bo koso to le bo 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 koso to le bo ra ba anka si ka la ba kata la ba 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 la father i refuse i reject to carry the sins of my forebears neither would my children carry the sins Father, my sins, not not the sins of my forebears, in the name of Jesus Christ. La brasse katanka ya bo bo ibo bo ibo. I refuse. I reject. I refuse. I reject. No, no, no. In the name of Jesus Christ, can't 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 bo bo iba alala bara basi katalaba. Kerebo swata po bo iba basi katalaba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen. This Pink Church, good morning. God bless you. It is well with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Finally, Pastor Bert, now you be cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, uh, God bless for this opportunity. We are grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you for your life. We receive this word seriously and assuredly in our hearts. It is a word spoken in season. A drop of honey, nuggets, and just name it to gladden our hearts, to bring purification to do that which is necessary that our prayers may be answered as at when due, in Jesus' name. Brethren, let us just bless the man of God that from the well from which he has drawn this we never go dry. It will never go rancid. It will continue to spring forth like, a, like living water that well from where he has drawn this wisdom from. Pray that the Lord will continue to uphold him, strengthen him and his family and his ministry. That the, that the best are yet to come in his life, in the name of Jesus Christ. That that which he has shared today shall continue to prosper. Not only in the heart of the hearers, but in his heart as well in Jesus' name. Just bless him. Commit him into God's care. That the Lord who has given him this wisdom and understanding will expand his coast, extend his borders. The wisdom God has given to him, he will be able to share with many more around the world. That God's investment in his life shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. Cover the entire family with the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we pray that this word that we have received today shall prosper in our life, Amen. in our spirit, in our heart, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, for blessing us this day with the man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Yeah.